first question I want to pose to Derek, uh, you know, if, can you kind of fill us in on what the present state of what's going on in Turkey Creek is happening? Because we know that this is an ongoing disaster long before the film started, and I'm, I'm sure that there's still things going on since the film has ended. Well, um, it's not a success story, uh, first of all, because so much has been lost along the way, and it's not over. Um, in particular, the port expansion project uh, and the road development. I mean, Turkey, Creek, Turkey Creek's location, North Gulfport, is such that it remains and will always be uh, a place where the very best that we can come up with as far as solutions for sustainable, particularly transportation uh, development, uh, is undertaken. And unfortunately, uh, that has not become the case. Um, there's still some issues at Riley I think we'll go into a little bit having to do with the, uh, the continuing threat from the port expansion and so forth. Um, at the same time, there is, I guess, the silver lining to this cloud, which is that Turkey Creek has become a very instructive uh, place uh, and story for a lot of people, and most importantly, I think, across the Gulf Coast, where before, but particularly after Hurricane Katrina, we found that um, there are a lot of Turkey Creeks. You know, there's Africa Town uh, over in Mobile Bay, and Lower Ninth Ward, and Plaquemines Parish, and others. And so, frankly, uh, my work and our fight, all of ours, has extended uh, beyond Turkey Creek, right, to uh, this contiguous environmental, social, politically challenged region that the world seems to like to talk about but not really deal with in the way that we have, particularly through uh, creating our own, uh, as we do in Turkey Creek and as they do in Africa Town, right? Our own uh, philanthropy even, the Gulf Coast Fund, the Community Renewal and Ecological Health, or the Bridge the Gulf Media Project for Citizen Journalism. So, uh, there. Okay. And for all those who may not know, so Africa Town is the uh, African American community in Mobile, Alabama. Yeah, it's, it's 60 miles to our east, um, but you don't have to go that far. I mean, there's, there's Soria City and the quarters and Moss Point. I mean, there are so many places, just as there are around the country, but on the Gulf Coast in particular, there are these historic, invisible, old African American, Native American, uh, and other communities, uh, Vietnamese, recent uh, Vietnamese immigrant communities that have these remarkable uh, American uh, essential stories that they know uh, and that they value, but the world uh, doesn't, and particularly the local, almost uh, third world pro-development oligarchy that we live under uh, in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Texas. Um, I mean, between us, we send you all eight not-so-great senators <laughs> to this uh, thing over here, to the Capitol. All right? So we are everybody's problem in more ways than one. <laughs> but we're not just a problem. I mean, we are a source of solution. I often refer to the Lower Nine and Turkey Creek as Nazareths, you know, places where what good can come from there? Well, frankly, as Nicole Hewitt and others who know, who have, and from these places after Katrina, nobody but us was listening, but from these places, we were the ones who advocated for sustainable community development before it was part of the lexicon among the paid planners and the Army Corps and others down there. And in fact, we were the ones after BP who had our own victim-based experience with the Clean Water Act, who envisioned the Restore Act, wrote the first draft, lobby, made sure that billions of dollars came back to the Gulf Coast and not to the general fund of the U.S. Treasury for restoration of our communities. And we are the ones who know better than anyone, particularly after Katrina and the, and the hurricane looting that our governor uh, and others got away with, that these federal dollars that are meant for us have to be watchdog. And so we are the ones doing that uh, to make sure that not hotels and casinos, but actual 
habitats and communities are restored with these funds. And so these are the types of things that, frankly, you all can actually help by paying attention to and contributing by your time and attention and effort. And I know you will because this room is <laughs> packed with people who I know from my own work and life experience are ready to get down. So thank you.